stylist, and now I'm a sharpener. I've had several people ask me why I became a sharpener as opposed to a hairstylist. So, one day I was holding, I was standing in my salon, I was holding my shears, and I was thinking about calling the guy who sharpened my shears. And he's not easy to get a hold of, he's not very personable, so it wasn't a good deal for me. I'm gonna give you kind of the short version. So I thought, can I do this? And I knew that with my stylist background that that would give me a foot in the door, okay? I like to wear the same color shirt with my logo on it, and I have that same color business card with my logo on it and with my picture on it. So they go, the girl with the pixie cut with the blue, sh with the, the blue card, it, it kind of clicks for them. So those of you who are doing, you're trying to get your logos together and your business cards and stuff, think about that because it's that recognition. But Jeremiah talked a lot about that. So, so okay, so one of the things that the, that the stylist is going to look for when you walk in as a, as a shear sharpener, one of the first things they're going to look at is how you hold the shears. Okay? If you're holding the shear incorrectly, you're immediately going to lose credibility, right? So when, you're, when you have a shear that's shaped like this, your ring, the ring finger goes in that hole, not the middle finger. The ring finger, the thumb goes down here, the pinky goes on what we call the tang, and then the other ones rest, okay? So you need to practice, if you've never practiced, practice holding a shear in your hand. You're also gonna need to practice palming the shear. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by palming a shear. This is what a stylist does when they cut hair. They're using this hand. See, this, the comb is in this hand. So I cannot have my, my thumb in this shear. I have to pull it out, put it in my palm, and grab the comb. Okay, and we do that. Stylists that are fast have been doing it a long time. We do that really quick. It's a real, it's a motion that we learn over and over again. Some stylists are slingers. They'll sling their shear back this way to grab their comb. It gives them a lot more control, but it depends on what school they went to to learn that, okay? One of the things about slingers, you want to know how someone palms their shears because when you sell someone a shear, if it's a shear like this, they'll be able to palm it easily like this. If it's a shear that has a wide thumb area, you cannot palm this it like this. You've got to drop it. You've got to drop it to palm it. Okay? So you'll want to pay attention. You'll have, and you can ask your stylist, show me how you hold your shear. Show me how you palm your shear. If someone's moving from a shear handle like this to a shear handle like this, that's a big leap. You might not want to show them this yet. Because that's going to be, and if you do, you're going to tell them they're going to have to train themselves like they're newborns to figure this out after using this handle shear. So it makes a difference. Let's talk about the new triclone, which I love. These are very popular where I am, especially with the younger stylists. And I find they're popular with the younger stylists because they don't they haven't learned how to use a shear like this for 20 they've been using a shear like this for 20 years. So they can learn to do without their middle finger. Because when I palm this shear, I now only have two fingers instead of three. You notice know, earlier <coughs> when I palmed it I had three to work with. So they'll be holding their comb. I'm sorry, I have to have a head to do this. They'll be holding their comb with three fingers in this case and holding their comb with, with two fingers in this case. It'll give them a lot less control over their comb. Okay, so that's something you'll want to look for. They'll think, oh, that's neat, that's awesome. They've been doing hair 20 years. It's going to be hard for them to give up that middle finger that they use. Okay? What do they call again? Those? These are called the triclone. Triclone. That's the Bonica triclone. It was supposed to be the Texas Twister. <laughs> <laughs> it will be at the Houston Hair Show. We'll okay, good. good. And the Dallas. And the Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Okay, good. Texas okay. Twister. All right, where am I? Okay. As a stylist, where do I learn how to do hair? In, hair, in grooming school. Hair school. <laughs> People grooming. People grooming. <laughs> Cosmetology school. Cosmetology school or barber school. I don't learn about shears. I didn't learn about shears. Denise, did you learn about shears? <coughs> types, of sh types of shears, types of handles, no. types of steel. Did you learn about them? Anybody else a stylist? No? Um, so, 
I get out of school, I don't know anything about shears. I just know the one they gave me and that those look cool. Those are blingy, they got spikes on them, they're awesome looking. I don't know if they're gonna work for me. So I go to my local cosmetology place. We call it RDA or Armstrong. What else is it called? Cospro? Sally. Sally. Well, no, not Sally. Cospro. Cospro. 